So I'm back and this time it is a tutorial on how to randomize a Pokemon game for the 3DS to the Citra emulator. I couldn't find any guide on this online and I really want to do it so I can do a Pokemon Let's Play on this channel, randomized of course. So let's get into it. You need a couple of things. Obviously you need Citra, you need a game, you need the, I don't know, the hack tool, pack hack tool, and you need the uh, PK3DS. So first of all, you take your game. And what I do is that I actually just put it in here. Then you obviously need to run the setup. You go into the hacking tool and then you choose the first one, D, extract.3ds file. Then you need to write the name of the 3ds file that you have and this compress the decompress the code BDN. BIN. I usually say no and then you just need to wait. Obviously, I will cut this out, cut to when it's done. You can see now it's done and you actually need to do this one more time and I'll just show how. Um, so you have all these folders right here and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a new folder on desktop. You just go to new folder. I'm just going to name this cancer. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to take all the files. You copy them into this folder right here. It will take a couple of minutes. And once it's finished, you just open up your PK3DS. And I'll just say yes if we want to open. As you can see, it's open now. And you go into File, you say Open, and you navigate to the folder that you just made the second folder. So in my case, it's Cancer. And just say yes to this. This doesn't matter. So what you're going to do now is you can randomize the shit you want. The wild, wild encounters. This is already a randomized version, so you can when this opens, you will see like a couple of randomized person, person Pokemon. Sorry, and the different rules. So the, what you're gonna do is just you, you hit a randomize all if you want to randomize them. You can fuck around with this yourself. This is how you randomize the um, encounters. Just close this when when you're done. It will take a little bit to load it up, and then you can go into let's see. Uh, static encounters, and this is here where you can randomize the starter Pokemon, randomize starter, and is it all? It's not here where you can randomize the trainer, but randomize all. I think this will randomize the other shit, and just hit yes, and you can also go in. This is is I think it's here where you can randomize the HMs. Now they are randomized. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is the Pokemons. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. And where can I randomize the... I actually don't know where I can make... Okay, I think this is here I randomize the trainers. You just go into misbrand and misc does random. Just hit randomize. It's easy. It's really easy. Once you're done, I'll... you can close it, but just do minimize it. Move this to the side. Go into the first set you made. And you take this run dot extract it from FS and just move it over and just just um, delete the previous you can delete the previous and just move it over and that should be it so now you're back with the pack hack and you open up the kit tool again and then you need to rebuild it and the file name rune, moon rain right rain just hit enter it's gonna rebuild it this will take a couple of minutes. Now that it's done, you're basically finished with randomizing. You can just close this. You're going to navigate to your moon randomized. This is the one. I just moved to this stuff. Actually, I'm going to move it into where I have my Citra games. You open up Citra. You choose the game. I'm gonna like fast forward to where I get my starter Pokemon and this should be it. You can open it. I'm going to fast forward to where I get my starter Pokemon and also when I go to battle how. So you can see it's randomized. Oh wait, this is from a previous save file. So it's randomized over it. It's fine, you can... I'm just going to show you. I'm in the grass. And... Let's watch this Pokemon. What this Pokemon is going to be. It's gonna be a skip room. As far as I know, you can't catch it here. And this was actually a Lillipop. Um, and I randomized the 
what's it called evolution as well and it's got into swimmish so yeah my starter pokemon was a crabby uh, kind of crabby pokemon but i'm going to i'm actually going to make a pokemon moon let's play randomized nuzlocke let's play in the near future super randomized nuzlocke and it's gonna be fucking wild i can quickly see if is that trainer nearby that i can I show off that the trainers also randomized just so you know just so you know it's like uh, very, very nice very, okay that's a trainer here let's just let's just battle her so you can see she's randomized as well because we did choose to randomize for the trainers as well so she should be randomized oh okay <laughs> captain madison right right you can already see sh the trainer is randomized Diana, I, as far as I know, she doesn't have a Diana on this route. And I also have the like le level boost on right now to make it a little bit more challenging for me to play. This is Jack, a free play. This will not be the like finished product that I'm going to upload here. But this is basically how you randomize a Pokemon game for Citra. It's very straightforward. It's actually pretty fucking easy. The hardest part is to get like the games. And Citra actually wants the games very well. But when you get into a battle and encounter, the frames will drop a little bit. They will maybe half, so you get like 14 FPS if you have a decent computer. But that's all for it for now. And you can expect to see like a randomized Nuzlocke like, let's play in the very near future, maybe even next week. I just need to get some artwork done and shit like that. Not being pretty, yes, but still, if you guys have enjoyed this uh, tutorial and you find it useful, make sure to hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you guys next time. Peace.